It's amazing. My next guest won an Academy Award for her role in The Piano when she was just 11 years old. You also know her as Rogue from the X-Men films. Starting Friday, she can be seen in the brand-new movie Buffalo Soldiers. Please welcome Anna Paquin. <laughs> So nice to have you here. Thank you for having me. And this is exciting. Congratulations are in order because what is it now? It's uh, like quarter after one in the morning. So you uh, just play along. Uh, <laughs> you, uh, we don't tape this earlier. <laughs> you, uh, you just, you just turned twenty-one. Yes. This is exciting. This is and you chose. You chose to, to spend this very special time with me. That's very I nice of you. Indeed. Yeah. Thank you for having well, it's it's an honor. It's an honor. <laughs> now I want to ask you something. You won an Oscar, and I've heard a lot of people if they if they win an Oscar, they prominently display it. Mm -hmm. I know if I ever had an Oscar, mm -hmm. I would mount it to the hood of my car. Really? And drive around or wear it on a hat, you it know. Might be a little heavy. They weigh like twelve pounds. I wouldn't care. I would. I would just make sure I, that everybody saw it. You keep yours in a closet yeah. and don't show it to anybody. Yeah. Why? Because you think it's too um, showy. It's, I think it's a little ostentatious to have this huge gold statue that you, you know, won like ten years ago, still prominently like up in your living room. It's not a be. bowling trophy. It's an Oscar. Yeah, but I think a little like weirded out if they came into my apartment and were like, oh, there's your Oscar. Do we have to talk about that? You know what I mean? Like, it's not really what my life's about. So It know. would be what mine was about. I'd build really? my life around it. I would lower it on a rope halfway through dinner. <laughs> oh, look at, oh, what's this? Oh, it's an Oscar. What is that? How did that get there? Well, we'll see you later. <laughs> No, I think it's, you know, it's, yeah. it's just not what it's all about. Sure, know? yeah. Now, let me ask you, you play, of course, uh, Rogue in, in, in X-Men. Yes. These movies are very popular. People love, people love X-Men and Cheech and Chong. Those are the most popular. <laughs> if there was an X-Men character called Cheech and Chong, which was one superhero with a Cheech and Chong head, that would be an amazing... Okay, I'll move on. <laughs> Your power is a strange power. Yeah. It's, a, it's a hard kind of power to define because <laughs> some people can, you know, claw and some people can fire a beam. You, t t you... Um, I absorb people's, like, life abilities and, I, I, like, life force when I touch you, their skin. You, you I su suck the life out of them. Yes, yes. Um, and I've had like... guests do that before really? on this show, yeah. <laughs> Stone Phillips just, <laughs> and you're like, Woo! Patrick Swayze and Stone Phillips not too happy with me tonight. <laughs> but that's kind of a cool, uh, kind of a cool power. You can so just, just uh, take all their. If I touch another mutant, I get their powers temporarily. Or if I hang on too long, they die, and I get their powers permanently. But right. um, I didn't really get to do that very much in the movie. Right. Um, right. I think I used the power like twice in both movies. That's all right. It's but... cool when you don't overuse your power. You know, when you choose yeah, to use it a little bit here, a little bit there. Because some heroes are using it so much, you're like enough already. You know. <laughs> um, I didn't fight anyone I was upset you wanted to fight absolutely oh that's so cool you yeah, really we, wanted to get in like, there and learn like martial arts or like do something really tough that would be funny well maybe in the next one they're gonna keep cranking I these out so. yeah <laughs> you know what I think would be fun about being in one of the X-Men movies is the merchandising is all over the place yeah. and they put the characters faces on all kinds of different stuff like have you yes. seen have you had the experience yes, of seeing do. your face um I was up in Cape Cod last week. I was doing a stage reading of a play, and I went into a, a general store and saw a Diet Dr. Pepper can with my face on it. Yes, that's the ultimate. At about yeah, eight that's... in the morning. Right. And I, it was before coffee, and it was possibly the most surreal thing I've ever like, seen. So it's your face it's staring. Like, no, actually, it's like most of my body. And so I was like, well, I have to buy it, obviously. So I tried to, like, when I took it up to the counter, like, position it so that the girl at the checkout couldn't see that I was buying a can with my face on it. Wait, you tried to show off? Or, or you no, tried no, to no, hide no. it? I hide the fact that I was buying it. But... Why hide? What's wrong with you? Because... I would go up to the girl at the checkup counter and say, I would like this. <laughs> That's what I would do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. That's what I would do. It's not really my style, I guess. That's not your style. That's much cooler. Trust me. What you're doing is much cooler. But then she recognized me anyway, so that was... Oh, my, that's uh, cool. Yeah. So I was, you know, kind, yeah. of, kind of the whole positioning thing is a little pointless. But right, okay. right. Well, at least fun. you're on a diet. Was it... Diet do Dr. Pepper. That's the I ultimate. I didn't even know. That's the I ultimate know in my society. That. I'd lower really? that on a rope if I had really? it during dinner. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, oh, that's me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs>
<laughs> Buffalo Soldiers. Yeah. This movie uh, was shot in, in Germany. Mm -hmm. Did you have a good time in Germany? Germany? Um, well, actually, I didn't see that much of it because we were shooting mostly nights during my time, and it was winter, and so it was right. always dark, and we were shooting, like, six days a week, so I pretty much saw nothing of Germany, so I probably... Kind of a tough town to grab a bite to eat, though, I've um, found. If you're a vegetarian, yes. Yes. Um, there's pretty much, I don't think, such a concept as vegetarianism in Germany. No, their soft drinks are made of sausage <laughs> over there. <laughs> mm. no, Fizzy like, bratwurst. Like, literally, the only place I could find food to eat was like this falafel place where right. both me and Joaquin Phoenix, because he's also vegetarian, ate, I think, pretty much three times a day. Right. So they got kind of sick of us, and I think we got a little sick of falafel. Hard, yeah, hard to just eat the vegetarian <laughs> stuff. But it was all for a good cause. Absolutely. People like this movie. We have a clip from this movie. Yes. What do we need to know about this? Um, basically, my character uh, is going out with, with Joaquin Phoenix's character because uh, it'll make my father incredibly angry because they your dad, kind of butting heads. Your my dad. dad's the like, top guy on the military base and right. him and Joaquin like butt heads. And so we're both kind of going out with each other to get back Rebel to Rebel against your dad. All right, let's okay. take a look at this clip from Buffalo Soldiers. So what's going on with you and my dad? What do you mean? Well, I'm the nuts or enemy of guys like your dad. I got caught stealing a car and the judge gave me a choice. Either six months in prison or three years in the army. So I made the mistake yeah, of choosing the yeah, army. I get it, I get it. My dad usually has a problem with guys like you. So you're out with me to piss him off. No, I, uh... That's it. Well, look, I'll take you home now. I didn't mean to get you in the middle of this. I'm... You're seriously out with me just to piss off my dad? Yeah. Buffalo Soldiers opens Friday in select cities, expanding further in the weeks ahead. Happy birthday. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much for being here. Anna Paquin, everybody. We'll be right back. Louis C.K., stick around. Fine show tonight. Fine show coming up tomorrow night. Academy Award nominated actor Joaquin Phoenix is going to be with us. From the kids in the hall, Scott Thompson's here. Musical guest, Cheap Trick. So watch that show. We'll take a break and we come back. Louis C.K. is here. Very funny man. The penis actor.